Welcome to Cork, the real republic. Cork is the second largest city in Ireland. In the hustle and bustle of city life, wildlife is often overlooked. But if you slow down, look and listen, nature begins to appear all around you. Cork has many hidden jewels, where wildlife not only survives within this busy urban centre, but thrives. We will begin looking at the River Lee, the lifeblood of the city. Cork, Osgoelga Kirkig, means marsh, which alludes to the importance of the river to the city. As you walk along the river, you will notice many birds perched along the river's walls. Many of these will be black-headed gulls. They have a black hood on their heads only during spring, the breeding season. During the rest of the year, they have a white hood with a small black patch behind the eyes. Black-headed gulls are a noisy, quarrelsome bunch. You will often hear them before you see them. These brave little scavengers will eat anything they can get their beaks on. Along with the larger herring gull, they are the city's gull gang cleaning crew. Cleaning the streets of any food left behind after the revelry of the night before. They and the council cleaning crews keep our city looking spotless. Unless the rubbish bags are left unattended, then we are back to square one again. If you look into the river, and are very lucky, you may see one of Cork's most elusive residents, the otter. Otters are a common sight in the Lee and its tributaries, delighting visitors and residents alike. Ireland is a European stronghold for otters, and Cork City has twice the number of otters you would expect in an area this size. We do not know the exact reason why there are so many otters here in Cork, but as Cork City is a city of islands, we believe this to be a major reason. Now, one of the best places to see otters in Cork is along the Cork Otter Trail, where I am standing. It runs from Camden Quay down the centre of the city, all the way up to Fitzgerald's Park. Otters will eat anything they can get their paws on. Fish, salmon, trout and eels are their favourites, but it's not unheard of for them to eat crabs and even birds. Otters need muddy vegetative banks to make their homes, which are called holts. Otters communicate with each other using sprint, their poo. They sprint in exposed areas, such as on top of logs or rocks, to mark their territory. Otter sprint is incredibly strange, as it smells nice. It smells like cooked grass or jasmine. As we move north, we come to the River Bride, a tributary of the Lee. The Bride runs through Blackpool and is incredibly important for the otter. It is a hidden gem and surprisingly beautiful. Trees line its muddy banks, oaks and ash, making it an important refuge for wildlife. This is a fantastic area to see a magnificent little bird, the Dipper. Smaller than a blackbird, with a characteristic little bob as it moves up and down the stream, hunting for insects that it feeds on. Incredibly, it will actually dive underneath the water and walk along the bottom of the stream, hunting for its food. Now, dippers are normally found in upland areas, so we're very fortunate to have them in Cork City. Dippers are also incredibly sensitive to changes in water quality. So, if you have dippers in a stream, you know it must be clean. As we continue north, we come to the Glen River Park. The park is found in a deep, steep-sided valley and boasts one of the city's most diverse wetland areas. Ponds, wet grasslands and wet woodlands provide a valuable refuge for birds, insects and other wildlife. The ponds are artificial and a remnant of its former industrial past. Located southwest of the city centre, the loch is well known to locals and attracts nature enthusiasts from around the country. It is one of Ireland's oldest protected areas, declared a public wildlife refuge in 1881. Covering four hectares, this freshwater limestone lake is a well-known breeding site for a variety of wetland birds or wildfowl. 
with a particularly large population of geese and swans. When you visit the loch, you will see many familiar species, such as the mute swan, grey-like geese, mallards and moorhens. You will also see some more exotic species, like the Egyptian goose and the black swan. Some birds will migrate here for the summer. Others do the exact opposite and come here for the winter. So no matter what time of year you will arrive, there will always be something different to see. We now move southwest to University College Cork. UCC is the world's first green campus. They're working hard to reduce their environmental footprint and increase biodiversity here on campus. They've had success putting up bat boxes and planting large wildflower areas, proving the old adage true, build it and they will come. Jays are without doubt one of Ireland's most strikingly colourful birds and they're breeding here on main campus. A member of the Corvid family, or the crow family, their harsh call can be heard echoing throughout the campus. They're incredibly shy and spend the majority of their time hidden amongst the trees. But stand still and look up, if you are very lucky, you may get a chance to see them. Other animals you will see or hear are the tiny goldcrest, Ireland's smallest bird, blackbirds, song thrushes and robins, as well as one familiar animal that although present is rarely seen, the fox. Urban foxes are becoming increasingly common in many towns and cities across Ireland, taking advantage of our wasteful ways and scavenging on our discarded food. Travelling to the southeast of the city, we come to Beaumont Quarry, a disused limestone quarry. Beaumont Quarry was last used in the 1960s and provided stone for many of the city's historic buildings and monuments including St Finbar's Cathedral and the Courthouse. It has now been reclaimed by nature and become a safe haven for wildlife in the heart of the city. Beaumont Quarry boasts many rare habitats, including tricalcareous grasslands, semi-natural woodlands that you can see down below me here, and caves, where many endangered insect and plant species call home, including the very rare little robin a pink flower that is only found in 11 sites in Ireland. The warmth and shelter provided by the steep quarry walls provides a haven for a range of insect species. The native Irish honeybee, six species of true bumblebee, two species of cuckoo bumblebee and ten species of butterfly can be seen in the quarry during the summer months. The common blue, one of Ireland's most colourful butterflies, is one of the most beautiful sights to see while visiting the quarry. Many bat species are also found here, along with an array of garden bird species. The presence of rare species makes the quarry an exceptionally important site for biodiversity. Beaumont Quarry truly is an oasis in the middle of the city. When people hear about urban wildlife, they often think of the little remnants of countryside that persist within the city. The green spaces, parks and gardens but some species actually seek out the city itself. Their habitat is the very fabric of the city, its walls and its buildings. Many bird species have become so at home in our towns and cities that they now live almost nowhere else. Swift, house marten, swallow, jackdaw, starling and house sparrow all nest almost exclusively on man-made structures. Swallows and house martens belong to the same family and are very familiar summer residents to the city between mid-March and late September. Both species return to the site where they were born year after year. Here in Cork City they mainly nest on rooftops or eaves of buildings, often using mud as a nesting material. Once the autumn closes in, both species will begin the long migration towards southern Africa. Walk through Grand Parade early in the morning and you will be treated to an unusual sight. Grey herons gathering outside the English market. Fishmongers have a tradition of feeding the herons scraps of fish. Now they visit every morning for their breakfast. 
After breakfast, the herons return to their usual habitat in the nearby river. Perhaps the most magnificent bird to be found in the city is the peregrine falcon, the world's fastest animal. These birds have made a remarkable comeback in Ireland in recent years thanks to protection and conservation efforts. Few people are even aware that these birds can easily be seen in our towns and cities. But look up and you may see them soaring through the skies above Cork City or perched on top of our tallest buildings on the lookout for prey. The wildlife of Cork City is a great pleasure to many people. They provide a direct link to nature, a connection that is easily lost in this urbanised world. By allowing natural features to be part of urban development, by preserving these special places and maintaining clean air and water, it is possible to make the city a better place, not just for wildlife, but for ourselves. Visiting some of these hidden jewels within our city and observing the incredible array of wildlife that live there, it is possible for us to build a strong connection with the natural world that is all around us. All you have to do is slow down, look and listen and nature will appear all around you.